What's up guys, it's John, and I wanted to share some thoughts with you that I was unable to express in some of the other videos from the Second Amendment shoot. Essentially, it was just afterthoughts and things like that that I felt I needed to share with you guys. First and foremost, I have to say thank you again to Corey and Erica. You guys did an awesome, awesome job putting this together. It was a lot of fun for everybody involved, and uh, I can't wait till next year. It's definitely going to be a big turnout, and it's pretty exciting. The next thing I wanted to talk about was kind of the overall feeling of the event. It was, <laughs> to say the least, it was exciting. Everybody was there. Everybody's in an awesome mood. Everybody's all jacked up to see each other, get to shoot some cool guns, share some stories. And <laughs> that kind of environment, it just, it just makes it that much better. There were a few people and channels that I didn't get to speak to on camera, like interview style or uh, get a lot of footage of them, or something like that. There was a lot going on, so it wasn't exactly easy. But I wanted to use this video as uh, my way of saying thank you or sharing some thoughts with them. First up, I have to say a huge thank you to Eric, Chad, Barry, and I believe it was Brandy, and the rest of the crew from the Iraq Veteran 8888 channel. Those guys are just class acts. I had a long conversation with Chad about some reloading issues that I had had. I actually learned some things about the Desert Eagle hand loads that I want to share with you guys at a later date. Um, <laughs> they're just really, really down to earth guys. Eric and I had, you know, talked about, you know, growing the YouTube gun community and getting everybody together. And, uh, you know, they're really, really down to earth good people. And it's not always easy as a channel of their size to reach out to channels that are my size and uh, really sit down and talk shop with them. And that was a really good opportunity for me to, to share some thoughts with them and get a little bit of feedback, as well as them kind of give me some pointers and things like that. So thank you, Eric, Chad, Barry, Brandy, all you guys. Um, it was tremendous meeting you, and I can't wait to see you guys again. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so internet high five to you all. <laughs> oh, man, I'm retarded. Anyway, those guys are awesome. The next channel I want to talk about is Fate of Destiny. Destiny has been a supporter of mine for quite some time. Um, her cameraman actually told me that he had actually been watching my channel before she even got started, which is pretty cool. Um, they're both, you know, they're really good people. Her family's really cool. They come out to events with her. Um, <laughs> yeah, she, she's been awesome to me, and I really haven't gotten the chance to either interview her or generally say thank you for all the support. So Destiny and crew, thanks a lot. You guys have been nothing but awesome to me, and I genuinely appreciate it. The next person I want to mention is the Sentinel of Liberty. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know who that is, that's Captain Burrs. Burrs actually doesn't live too far away from me here in PA. I think he lives in Maryland, if I'm not mistaken. And it's been far too long since I, you know, spoke to him online. You know, it took a while for us to meet. We first met out in Indiana, of all places. And I definitely want to get with him this year, uh, make some videos to share with you guys, as well as share his channel with you guys. So definitely go check him out as well. Burrs is a good dude. He's got some really, really fantastic videos, some educational stuff, some, uh, you know, discussions about politics and stuff like that. So definitely go check him out. Another guy that I just met at the Second Amendment shoot was Alan from Zombie Tactics. You know, we hadn't really crossed paths before on YouTube, and it was actually a really good experience meeting him. He's a really nice guy, really down to earth. Alan is very educated, and that comes across when you speak to him. But he's got an awesome sense of humor, and I, I really like what he does. I, you know, I got a chance to check out more of his stuff on YouTube, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. He's definitely got some good series going on over there, so go check that out. Zombie Tactics, Alan's a good dude, thumbs up for me. The next person I need to mention is Tim from the Military Arms Channel. Now, Tim and I actually ran into each other at SHOT Show this past year in January, and he was nothing but nice to me then, he's been nothing but nice to me since, and uh, it's really, really cool. Um, he'll, you know, jump in, watch a video, leave a comment whenever he can, I know he's a busy guy. And seeing that kind of interaction and people that I respect a lot, you know, showing me some feedback or gratitude towards what I do um, in our community, that's huge for me. That's That means a lot. And I, I just wanted to say thank you, Tim, for the support you've given me thus far. I can't wait to see you again. Um, I'm definitely hoping to 
you know, get with everybody again, at least next year, if not sooner. So thanks to Tim from the Military Arms Channel. Of course, go check him out if you haven't already. Most of you probably have. The next guys I want to mention are IndianaGunOwners.com. Uh, Q, who is kind of the face of what they do on YouTube, he's a good dude. The other guys that were there from their website, really good people, down to earth. And uh, I definitely want you guys to go check out what they do on YouTube. They're kind of just getting started, so go over there, subscribe, give them some feedback, and of course, tell them I sent you. Last but not least, I need to say thank you to the guys from Slip2000 as well as TechShield Elite. Great group of guys, um, two different companies there. They both brought out their different products. I'm going to be testing both separately this year, and uh, of course, videos coming on them. So go check them out as well. I'll include links to their Facebook page in the description. Tell them who sent you, of course. And guys, I really didn't intend for this to be a shout out video. I really wanted to speak and um, kind of say thank you to everybody that was out there, gave me support, and uh, I think we did a good job at uh, kind of spreading the message of, you know, unity amongst firearms owners. It's very important for us to all be on the same page and I think those of us with a larger voice than most can do a big part in uh, spreading that message. So I guess that's it for now, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching. I genuinely appreciate any support that you guys give me, any feedback that you give me. Definitely go check out my Facebook page if you haven't yet. I'll put a link in the description. It's essentially facebook.com slash chaos311clarity. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe. If this is somehow the first video of mine that you're seeing, definitely go check out my other videos. And of course, guys, if you enjoyed this one, give it the old thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you next time.